So you guys are already familiar with solving these kinds of problems with proportions. We've been practicing that the last few days. But on this, we're being asked to show a visual way. So how could we show a visual way of solving in Ty's math class, 20% of students earned an A on a test. If we, there were 30 students in the class, how many got an A? One way we could do a visual is using a tape or bar model. And if this whole thing is 100%, this section here would be the 20%. And these are the students who got an A. That means that this total down here shows that the whole class is 30 students. We could use this in visualizing this broken up into 100 and try to determine what the proportionality is between 100% and 30 students being the total. Another way we can look at this visually is to have two number lines. That's called a double number line. This would be the percent number line. And this would be the student number line. And what do we know? We know 20% had an A. What we don't know is how many students that is. We do know that there's 30 students total in the class, and that 30 equals 100%. And as you can start to see, this is starting to look like our proportion. We're dealing here with the 20 and 100%, the 30 students, what is the unknown over here in this visual is how many students actually got an A. We know the percent, we don't know the number. This visual is starting to again show us what it would look like and that would be a way to look at how many got them. And then we can go back and do what we know how to do well. We can make our percent ratio and we can make our unknown and our whole ratio and we could cross multiply and find out how many students that actually is. Uh, when you're working on your own after this video, I want you to do the same kind of thing down here. See if you can display, show what a tape model would look like or a bar model, and show what a double number line, and then go ahead and use what we know to solve it. Now we're going to move on to the next example. And this is using a numeric approach. In Thai's English class, 70% of the students completed an essay by the due date. There are 30 students in Thai's English class. How many completed the essay by the due date? Well, what, we, what do we know? We know that the whole is 100%. And we also know that the whole is 30 students. That 30 students equals the 100%. We could set this up as 30 over 100 and try to find what 1% is. We know that 70% of students are not part of getting this done on time. We could multiply that by the 30 over 100 and we would get 21. So 70% is 21 students. That must mean that 30% is nine students because we know we have 30 total students. Down here we're being asked in example three to show an algebraic approach. Well you guys know the algebraic approach. That's what we do with proportions. A bag of candy contains 300 pieces, of which 28% are red. What is the total? 300 pieces. What is the percent? 28 over 100. So which quantity represents the whole? We have both 300 pieces and 100%. If we want to know how many pieces are red, we can compare that part and whole to the unknown part and the known whole. 
I want you to take a little bit of time and see if you can answer these questions as you're going forward. And at this point, I'm going to just show you what I want you to try to accomplish. Try to solve these using whatever ways you see, uh, using the percent, using, you can do drawings or number lines, uh, but most likely I'd like to see you using proportions. And the goal today is to try to see if you can get through page 12. Um, my guess is you're not going to get all the way through it, but make a good start on it and we will come back on Monday and make an attempt at getting through page 12. All very similar kinds of problems and exactly what you guys need to be practicing right now.